let's get right to it. First thing I want to do is I want to show you what we're going to be using on camera three. Okay, I have a Raiden 6024 power supply and I have it set to 14 volts. The amp set to 23. Better than having you to have to look at this and me to try to see it because you can see it on the camera way better than I can with my eyes. Raiden created an application and I downloaded it and I installed it. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So you can see way better on screen what's going on. The VARS in the manual where it does say pulls eight amps and eight amps in a 12 volt system in your car is going to pull around 96 watts okay so without further ado let's get right to it we're going to take you i'm going to take you to the app that i have for the ryden and we are going to go there now right now <laughs> let's go okay there we go right here we are It's spiking to 13 amps. So that's three amps over. All right, now let's clear this out and start over. Okay, let's turn it on and see what happens. Did you hear that? The voltage went up to 14. The amps did nothing that I can see here. Well, it's not showing it here. Let's see, let's zoom in. No. <laughs> It didn't even get a chance to do anything. It blew the fuse right away. As soon as I turned it on, it blew the fuse. So if you have a vacuum cleaner that you think is garbage, it's probably because it blew your fuse. And I would not put a bigger fuse in your car just so it'll run. Definitely do not do that. Let's turn it off. Let's clear the code here. All right, let me show you something. Anybody that has a Raiden power supply and they use their software, I contacted Raiden. I redesigned the interface a little bit. I just changed things up. This is what I would like to see. Are you ready for this? Here we go, three, two, one. Okay, this is the interface that I came up with and I sent it, I did this with my photo editing program and I moved things around. I created a whole new tab for a couple of things that didn't even need to be here, but it opened up this whole area for the screen. I love that. And I moved this, which is stuck here on the current one that you can't even see, you can't even move this. It, it won't move out of the way. It's just stuck there and I hate that. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But if you use this program and you would love to see it look like this I love this yeah this should be here all the time this this should be here if we could have this to where it goes all the way across I think that'd be awesome anyway enough for that I just wanted to show you what I had designed and if you're ever talking to write in you can tell them hey Steven from outside in contacted you about a design and we'd love to see that Okay, so here we go. This is the VARS plugged into a heavy-duty simulated 12-volt outlet inside of a truck or a car. Three, two, one. That's the amp spike to 7, 16, 17 and a half. 17 and a half it spiked and it settled down to 10.6. It's running at 147 watts. That is rated for 96 watts according to the manual, eight amps, and it's pulling 10.5, 10 and a half amps. Now we'll let this run for just a little bit, because I know the other day when I did this, it was pulling consistently 11 amps. Okay, so that should be good enough. Let's turn that off.
Okay, okay, so there you saw. If you like this content, you'd like to see more, if there's another test like this that you would like to see me do, please reach out to me. I would love, I love doing this. I would love to create a video sh using that graph. That was fun. And I hope that Raiden, please remember the interface I sent to Raiden. If you like that, if you own this software and you thought that, oh, that is awesome, write Raiden and tell him that Steven from Outside In contacted you and he showed us the interface he would like for you to do. I would love to see that in this software. So yeah, also being able to change the form sizes, all the little forms to move them around, make a workspace that works best for the individual. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Find someone that needs a reason to go on and give them that reason. Find someone that needs to laugh, make them laugh. Share this video. God bless each and every one of us. And I will see you in the next one.